HTML also offers us some advanced elements like if we want to tab some elements if we want them into tab sections let me show you how tabs works let's add a tab onto our container here from this add section if we scroll down to advanced section here and you will find one element called tabs if I drag and drop this element into my container here here you will you can see that we have some settings let me first close these settings and let's focus on the layers here. If I open these layers, tabs has two areas. One is the tab buttons and the second is the tab content. Each tab button is going to have a separate content for it. Now let's just see by default how the tags are going to look like if I play the preview button and if I click on tab and tab two, nothing is going to show because the content area of the tabs are empty. So let's fill this content area first and then understand how this tab content is going to work. For example, the first link is going to be filled with the first tab pane. Second is going to be the second and the third is going to be the third. So let's fill this by adding one heading here. Maybe I can just rename this tab content content one. Okay, and I'll just simply copy and paste this element. I will just copy and paste it in the second one and I can just double click on this and rename it like second and the third one I can just again cop copy and paste and the third one also is going to be th three. So now you can see that the first content here is going to be the content, tab content one, second and the third. Let's play these tabs and let's see. If I click on the first one, it's saying tab content one. If I click on the second one, it's saying tab content two. And if I click on the third one, it says tab content three. So this is what tabs are. You can manage your content based on the tabs, so it doesn't take so much space. Now let's understand the settings of the tab. For example, if I click on the tabs here, and then if I click on the settings, you can see we have active tabs. Right now, the third tab is active. I can make any tab the first tab which is active whenever somebody comes on the website. For example, if I click on the second tab to be the first one which is going to be active whenever anybody is going to load my website into their browser. The second one is active. Now, if I play this preview button, you can see the second one is by default active tab. So in settings, we can make the active tab none also that so that whenever anybody is going to come to your website, none of these tags is going to be active. So let's explore these options. Now, if you want to add more than three tabs, by default, tabs are going to give you three tabs. But if you want to add more than three tabs, you can click the add button here and then it's going to add the tab. On the other hand, you can also copy and paste, copy and paste this tab here and it's going to be considered as a fifth tab automatically, but we can we have to change the name manually. So if I control Z here, so now also you have to think about two more things. One is the name of the tab. You can change the name of the tab. I can change it to C D or maybe image one or image two or image so this is how you can change the name of the text text and you can also style them with the CSS we are not going to do that right now and if we go to the tab settings now you can see I changed the name all of all of the tabs but it doesn't affect the settings area why because the settings area is not for the title it's for the arrangement so here you can also change the name of the tabs, but it not it's not going to affect the front area or the main uh, area which users are going to see. This area is only to arrange your tabs. For example, if I change the, I can just rename it like content one, save. So this area is to arrange your content based on whatever knowledge that you have. If you do not want to change this setting, it's okay, but it's it's going to be very easy to find your content based on this arrangement.
and it's not going to affect the front end area here you can see i have written content one but here is image one tabs can also have animations but these are some advanced settings and we are not going to learn them about right now now what we can do other than the text here we can just play some images here so as i said we have three tabs here okay and three content areas for that what you have to be careful about that your content should be inside the tab pane for example let me first remove all of these headings from here and let me bring one image element here for example one image element here and let's choose one image i have this beautiful image here and let's copy this image and then paste it in other tabs now if you are feeling hard time moving around these tabs for example what you can do go to the tab settings on the right side and you can activate th these tabs and then you can see which tabs is active right now the second content is active i can go to the second content pane and then change this image for example for the second image we have a different image and that let's change the third one also for example this one the third one and the third image is going to be this so let's now play this and let's see first image second image and third image so guys these are tabs and this is how you can arrange your content based on the tabs and it's it's very powerful and it's very useful the most common use case of tabs are pricing sections so let me show you one example here for example this area you can see we have some restaurant menu here and we have some cost here and if we are going to arrange this content we can use tabs for example meat fish bakery and drinks all of these can be arranged on the tab these are tabs and they are aligned in a different way so that the menu is on the left side and the content is on the right side these are tab link these are tab links and this is tab pane so guys if you are liking my course and my content please subscribe like and share that's it for this video see you in the next video